Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Welcome back. More and more we are starting to see things unfold in the world that many of us have talked about for years, many years. And the thing that I'm going to be focusing on today in this video is the fact that some states are banning the sale of seeds from local establishments such as Walmart and Lowe's and Home Depot, places that carry these items. Some states are doing that. Just listen to this real quick and then I'm going to get back to it. And yet even against all of these things going on, we see governments have moved, have already done this, have made it illegal to purchase seeds so that you can start growing your own food. This picture from Vermont. But then okay, as you see already in Vermont, uh, they have moved to do this. And I believe a few other states as well and Canada have already moved to ban the sale of seeds, shutting down garden areas, saying that these are non-essential items. Well, you have the UN and other organizations saying that we are in the midst of a food shortage and a food crisis. But you have some state governments saying that selling seeds is now off of the table. Now, let me tell you what our experience has been when we heard that. When we heard that information, we decided to go online and see what it would be like to buy seeds online. Now, there are seeds that you can buy online, but guess what we are starting to notice? Things that we've paid for instance, some of the um, items that we've bought in the past that may have been just say $19.99. These items are now $54.60.99.109. The prices have, in some cases, quadrupled. Now, of course, we know that some uh, sites where you can sell things, they will catch those price gougers, but now their items are no longer available. Usually when they catch a price gouger, they just remove their items altogether from their site, sites such as Amazon and eBay. And so now those seeds will no longer be available. But nonetheless, the prices will still be high with others who may not necessarily price gouge, but they're going to take the price to the max without appearing to do so. And so all of those times, many of us have said, it's time to do what we're doing right now. Ordering seeds, growing your own food, coming together. It's time to do that. We've been saying that for a long time. Some of you have, remember, you've said it in the comment section that you've remembered that we've said this for a very long time. Procrastination is no longer an option. Remember also that we were saying that you should get together with family and friends and, and do this garden thing. Now, I saw one of my viewers uh, left a comment and said that uh, they and a few family members have gone to grandma's house to plant some food. Now, I don't understand why people wait till the last minute, but I'm glad they are at least doing it. But you see right now, you don't have another choice. For all who thought that there would be other choices. Now, of course, there's always the choice of breaking the law. You have some people who are going to just do what they have to, if, even if it means taking from others. That is the mindset that many have when they waste time and do not prepare. These are indeed trying times that we are living in, but where you go from here is going to be up to you. Are you going to sit back and complain and hope that things blow over? Which, of course, everyone hopes that things blow over. But as we've said too, even if they do, your mindset from this day forward should be changed forever. 
you should be growing your own food. If you're already growing food, you should be saving your own seeds from what you've grown the previous season. See, this is, I'm sorry, but this is reality now. Over the years, I've heard and seen so many excuses, so many people complaining about what they can't do. And so many options have been presented. Even if you don't have space to grow, you may live in an apartment. I gave the option of getting in touch with your local city or county concerning vacant land in your area and asking for permission to utilize that space for growing food. We, we see a lot of that was happening in Detroit where they were doing these community gardens. I hear now that they are shutting down community gardens because they feel that is a social gathering place. And so now, as you see, all options have changed. Many options have changed. If you have a friend with a yard, a relative with a yard, if you have even a small yard, forget about the grass, do what you have to do, grow some food. If you have to go inside with grow lights, go for the gusto, do what you have to do. Listen, family, this is what we've been talking about for a very long time. This is the time to kick into action Okay, just wanted to let you all know, give you a heads up. If your um, state hasn't banned seeds, the purchase of seeds yet, you need to go and buy yourself some seeds. Today, not tomorrow, not next week, today. I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.